Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, where games come in all shapes and sizes, with each taking place in varying locations, time periods, and with a massive variety of relevant weapons pertaining to each setting. That's without even mentioning how many genres are coupled with a war theme. Suffice to say there are a considerable amount of war games to choose from. Without a doubt if you are a war game enthusiast, this list is for you. By tapping on like and subscribe button, you can help me and my channel in many ways. So don't forget to do that. Hope you enjoy this video. This popular war game is an action-adventure first-person shooter developed by Machine Games. It is the seventh main entry in the Wolfenstein series and the successor to 2009's Wolfenstein. Set in an alternate history 1960s Europe, where the Nazis won the Second World War. The story follows war veteran William B.J. Blazkowicz and his efforts to stop the Nazis from ruling over the world. Played from a first-person perspective, most of the levels are navigated on foot. The story is arranged in chapters, which players complete in order to progress. Wolfenstein New Order has a great story and is definitely worth a play. This turn-based war game offers players gameplay that is a great balance of historical accuracy and abstract game design. Unity of Command 2 uses headquarters to allow players to collect the remnants of player units called stragglers. The functionality of the headquarters was expanded by developers to include repairing or constructing bridges on the map. The function is intended to give structure to the systemic complexity of World War II, but without overwhelming the player with countless systems. This is a great war game for history buffs looking for historical accuracy. This 2014 puzzler was developed by Ubisoft and is set during World War I. Valiant Hearts The Great War follows four characters who must help a young German soldier find his love. The story is one of survival, sacrifice, and friendship. The gameplay involves solving various puzzles by interacting with objects and people. Additionally, a dog named Walt accompanies the characters and helps solve the puzzles as well. This is a great title for those interested in war games and puzzles. This war game was developed by Jaeger Development and published by 2K Games. It is the 10th title, as well as a reboot of the Spec Ops series. In the game, players can hide behind cover, vault over obstacles, and shoot enemies while utilizing a variety of gadgets. Spec Ops The Line has players controlled Captain Martin Walker, who is sent into a post-catastrophe Dubai with an elite Delta Force team on a recon mission. As the story progresses, Walker's sanity begins to deteriorate as he begins to experience hallucinations and slowly realizes the horror of war. Reloading! Cover me! Heads up! Tango, try to move! With the disappointment that is Battlefield 2042, Battlefield 4 is arguably the best modern game in the series. 
That's an unfortunate critique of the series in recent years since it was released in 2013. While Battlefield 1 was considered a great game and Battlefield 5 got there in the end, they won't scratch that modern war itch that many gamers have. Battlefield 4 is still the go-to game in the franchise for many fans. Despite releasing so long ago, players can still be found easily on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. The game is also playable on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and F. This 2010 FPS was developed by Treyarch and published by Activision. Call of Duty Black Ops is the seventh title in the Call of Duty series, and the third developed by Treyarch. It serves as a sequel to Call of Duty World at War. Set in the 1960s during the Cold War, the game's campaign follows CIA operative Alex Mason as he attempts to recall certain memories in combat in order to locate a number station. Eyes left, Mason! Take those bastards out! He's dead! Rack tunnel up ahead! I see it. Charlie, 9 o'clock! This first-person shooter is the 15th installment in the Battlefield franchise. The game has been praised for its World War I setting and single-player campaigns, multiplayer modes, visuals and sound design. The gameplay in Battlefield 1 is a first-person shooter with an emphasis on teamwork. The game is greatly influenced by the historical events of World War I, using period-accurate weapons including bolt-action rifles, submachine guns, automatic rifles and more. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 was originally released in 2009 and was remastered in 2020. It is the sixth installment in the Call of Duty series and is highly regarded by gamers. The story follows Task Force 141, a multinational special forces unit commanded by Captain Soap McTavish as they hunt Vladimir Makarov, leader of the Russian Ultranationalist Party. The main playable characters in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 are Sergeant Gary Roach Sanderson of the 141, Private James Ramirez of the Army Rangers and Captain McTavish. As far as war games go, the Call of Duty franchise is perhaps the most popular in the genre and for good reason. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is a first-person shooter and the fourth main entry in the series. The game breaks away from the World War II setting in the previous games and is instead set in modern times. The story takes place in 2011 when a world leader executes the president of another nation. The game is seen from the perspective of U.S. Marine forces and a British SAS commando. Locations such as the UK, the Middle East, Azerbaijan, Russia and Ukraine can all be seen and explored in the game.